Hi, my name is Stephanie Hartwell Mandela, and I am the children's librarian at Katona Village Library. Uh, Band Book Week and uh, the freedom to read, intellectual freedom, these are all very important topics to me. Um, I think it's important for us to celebrate uh, Band Books Week and intellectual freedom. I think often we take these, these things for granted, and I think we forget about them in our daily lives and our daily struggles. Uh, but uh, at this point, during Band Books Week, we should try to make it a point to decide um, for ourselves what we want to do to celebrate intellectual freedom. And it's nice to celebrate, but I mean, what are you actually going to do? Um, how are you going to celebrate it? Uh, I suggest going to your local library. I suggest visiting a bookstore. I suggest reading a book, uh, something, anything. Um, I think books uh, have endless possibilities. So you need to discover history or fantasy or uh, learn a new skill or a craft, a hobby, something. Uh, pick up a book and do it. Um, uh, no one can repress your spirit. Okay, so the book I've chosen to read is Antango Mix 3, and this was written by Joseph, I'm sorry, Justin Richardson and Peter Parnell, and it was published in 2005, I think, and this is often, and has often been, a challenged book. Every year at the same time, the girl penguins start noticing the boy penguins, and the boy penguins start noticing the girls. When the right girl and the right boy find each other, they become a couple. Two penguins in the penguin house were a little bit different. One was named Roy, and the other was named Silo. Roy and Silo were both boys, but they did everything together. They bowed to each other and walked together. They sang to each other and swam together. Wherever Roy went, Silo went too. They didn't spend much time with the girl penguins, and the girl penguins didn't spend much time with them. Instead, Roy and Silo wound their necks around each other. Their keeper, Mr. Gramsay, noticed the two penguins and thought to himself, they must be in love. Roy and Silo watched how the other penguins made a home, so they built a nest of stones for themselves. Every night, Roy and Silo slept there together, just like the other penguin couples. And every morning, Roy and Silo woke up together. But one day, Roy and Silo saw that the other couples could do something they could not. The mama penguin would lay an egg. She and the papa penguin would take turns, keeping the egg warm until finally it would hatch. And then there would be a baby penguin. Roy and Silo had, an e had no egg to sit on and keep warm. They had no baby chick to feed and cuddle and love. Their nest was nice, but it was a little empty. One day, Roy found something that looked like what the other penguins were hatching, and he brought it to their nest. It was only a rock, but Silo carefully sat on it and sat and sat. And when Silo got sleepy, he slept. And when Silo was done sleeping and sitting, he swam and Roy sat. One day, day, I'm sorry, day after day, Silo and Roy sat on the rock, but nothing happened. Then Mr. Gramsay got an idea. He found an egg that needed to be cared for and he brought it to Roy and Silo's nest. 
Roy and Silo knew just what to do. They moved the egg to the center of their nest. Every day they turned it, so each side stayed warm. Some days Roy sat while Silo went for food. Other days it was Silo's turn to take turn to take care of their egg. They sat in the morning and they sat at night. They sat through lunchtime and swim time and supper. They sat at the beginning of the month and they sat at the end of the month and they sat all of the days in between. Until one day they heard a sound coming from inside their egg. Beep, 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 it said. Roy and Silo called back. Squawk, squawk, peep, peep, answered the egg. Suddenly a tiny hole appeared in the egg's shell, and then, crack, out came their very own baby. She had fuzzy white feathers and a funny black beak. Now Roy and Silo were fathers. We'll call her Tango, Mr. Gramsay decided, because it takes two to make a tango. The end. And Tango Makes Three is a true story of two male uh, chin-strap penguins uh, from the New York Central Park Zoo.